Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Israel, having a war experience in the past, was able to unite their country and set up a military industry at a high level. They produce artillery systems, missile systems, armored vehicles, tanks, and some of the best air defense systems in the world. Today we have prepared for you a selection of the 10 best armored vehicles and tanks that were produced in Israel. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. Akzaret The Akzaret is an Israeli heavy armored personnel carrier. It has been in service with the Israel Defense Force since 1988. This armored vehicle is based on a captured T-54 and T-55 medium tanks of the Soviet origin. Israel had in storage hundreds of these tanks captured during various wars and combat operations. The Akzarit can carry up to seven troops plus three crew members. The whole of the medium tanks remain without significant changes, however protection was significantly improved by adding armor. This armored vehicle is fitted with individual NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. It is claimed the Akzarit can withstand 125mm rounds at the front arc. The vehicle is armed with a Rafael OWS weapon station developed in Israel and containing an M240 7.62mm machine gun. This weapon is fired remotely from the inside of the vehicle. There is also a 60mm mortar which fires illuminating smoke or anti-personnel grenades. Etan The Etan is a new Israeli armored personnel carrier. It is the first wheeled 8x8 APC developed in Israel. This armored vehicle uses a number of Western components. Some sources report 50% of its components are of U.S. origin. The Eaton has a typical layout for a modern APC. It weighs around 30 to 35 tons and is well protected. Actually, it's one of the most protected wheeled APCs in the world. The vehicle has a V-shaped hole for improved protection against mines and improvised explosive devices. The Eaton was originally planned to be fitted with the Mail Rauch, commonly known as Trophy, active protection system. However, instead it uses the Hetz Dorben, Iron Fist, active protection system. The Eaton is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. Other weapons, such as 30mm or 40mm automatic cannons, also can be available on the Eaton. The Eaton is operated by a crew of three and can carry nine soldiers. Wolf The Wolf multi-purpose armored vehicle was originally developed as a private venture by the Rafael Armament Development Authority Ordnance Systems Division as a private venture. The first prototype was completed in 2002 and this underwent extensive user trials with the Israel Defense Force, which were completed in March 2005. The Wolf is based on a modified US-built commercial Ford F550 4x4 chassis, which has been fitted with an all-welded steel armored body that provides the occupants with protection from small arms fire and shell splinters. In either side of the rear troop compartment is a long oblong bulletproof window with an optional circular firing port below. The two doors at the rear open outwards, and the right door has a bulletproof window in its upper right part with firing ports as an option. Floor armor protection is also provided. The baseline wolf is provided with a single-piece hatch cover on the roof that can be fitted with a ring-mounted 5.56mm or 7.62mm machine gun. Sandcat the Sandcat is a composite armored vehicle designed by the then Plazan Saza, now Plazan, of Israel. The Sandcat is based on a commercial Ford F-Series chassis. Approximately 700 Sandcats have been produced since 2004. And while the Plazan has never released complete details, these are known to be in service with at least 16 users across five continents and in a wide variety of roles that range from police, internal security, to combat patrol. With the ability to carry up to 10 troops and their equipment, Sandcat's powerful 6.7 diesel engine high ground clearance and small turning radius enables security teams to fulfill their mission and return to base safely. With regard to armoring, Plazen refers to Sandcat's armoring as a kitted hull. This consisting of a selection overlapping bolted and bonded, not welded, panels. 
Armor composition has not been disclosed but is understood to include a steel base layer with a mix of internal, external aluminum, composite ceramic, and Kevlar components. Puma Israeli Defense Forces Combat Engineer Force had a requirement for a heavily protected vehicle to support their frontline tasks. The new vehicle was named Puma. It entered service with Israeli Defense Forces in 1991. Several hundred of these minefield breaching vehicles might have been produced for IDF. The main role of this combat engineering vehicle is to clear routes through minefields in heavily defended areas. It opens routes for armored formations and gives them freedom to maneuver. The Puma is a derivative of the Nagma shot, which itself is an upgraded British Centurion main battle tank, converted into a heavy armored personnel carrier. The Puma lacks turret and the hull has been rebuilt. During conversion, the vehicle has also been up-armored with passive armor arrays applied to the glacis, side skirts, and other vulnerable points. This minefield clearing vehicle is fitted with various mine clearing devices depending on mission requirements. It can be fitted with mine clearing rollers, mine rake, or bulldozer attachment. Carmel The Israeli Ministry of Defense has selected Israel Aerospace Industries as the prime contractor for the Carmel Future Armored Fighting Vehicle Program. The Carmel will not only be configured as an infantry fighting vehicle, but will be based on a multi-role platform that can be configured according to mission requirements and which can evolve according to new threats of the modern battlefield. Through its sensors and cameras, the Carmel enables full situational awareness and fast responses to enemy threats. It also allows users to order autonomous actions, including searching for enemy targets. In addition to autonomous systems, the vehicle is equipped with tactical drones that can be utilized for surveillance and reconnaissance. It also has a new generation of active protection for its two-man crew. Another unique feature of the futuristic vehicle is its ability to locate and destroy time-sensitive targets through fast acquisition and efficient target engagement. Merkava Mk3 the Merkava Mk3 main battle tank is a successor to the Mk2. It was first publicly revealed in 1989. Production tanks entered service with Israel Defense Forces in 1990. Production ceased in 2003 and a total of 780 of these tanks were built. It is still widely used by the IDF alongside the newer Merkava Mk4. The Merkava Mk3 has the same layout as its predecessors. It reflects the unique requirements of Israeli MOD. This tank has improved armor protection, firepower, and mobility. The Merkava Mk3 is fitted with a fully stabilized 120mm smoothbore gun locally developed by Israeli military industries. This gun can fire all standard NATO 120mm munitions. Secondary armament consists of three 7.62mm machine guns. The Merkava Mk3 has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader, and driver. It is worth mentioning that the Merkava Mk3 has a unique feature and can carry up to 10 troops when ammunition is unloaded. Troops enter and leave the vehicle through the rear hatch. Merkava Mk4 The Merkava Mk4 main battle tank entered service with the Israeli Defense Forces in 2004. It is a further development of the Merkava Mk3. A total of 360 of these tanks have already been built and another 300 have been ordered by Israeli Defense Forces. For a long time, these tanks were not available for export, though some of the tank's systems and components were offered for the export customers. Currently, the Merkava Mk4 is among 10 of the best main battle tanks in the world. The Merkava Mk4 is slightly larger than the previous Mk3. The new MBT is one of the most popular tanks in the world. It has a new armor compared with the predecessor. Improved Merkava Mk4 Mail Rausch tanks are fitted with a combat-proven trophy active protection system which destroys incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles. The Merkava Mk4 features an improved 120mm smoothbore gun, developed by Israel Military Industries. It is a further development of the Merkava Mk3 tank gun. This main battle tank is equipped with a new fire control system that includes some very advanced features. One of them is a high hit probability firing against helicopters using conventional munitions. Namer 
The Namer Heavy Armored Personnel Carrier is a major element of the Israel Defense Force modernization plan. The latest design of the Namer is based on the Merkava MK4 main battle tank chassis. Currently, it is one of the most protected armored personnel carriers in the world. The Namer is fitted with modular armor and mail route active protection system, which is commonly known as Trophy. For the first time, the active protection system is used as an integral element. The vehicle is also fitted with MBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The Namer offers the same protection level as the Merkava MK4. The vehicle is armed with remotely controlled weapon station, fitted with 12.7mm machine gun, which can be replaced with 40mm grenade launcher. There is also a manually operated 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the top of the roof. The vehicle is fitted with a new battlefield management system. The Namer has a crew of two and provides accommodation for 10 infantrymen or two stretchers. Merkava MK5 Israel Defense Force's next-generation tank Merkava Mark V, dubbed Barak or Lightning in Hebrew, will enter initial service in the Armored Corps in 2023. The tank will have an upgraded trophy active protection system to counter the most advanced anti-tank missiles made by Rafael, a 360-degree camera coverage for day and night views, and boosted situational awareness and a heads-up display for the tank commander, similar to that of a fighter jet pilot. The tank will also include new sensors enabling it to independently acquire targets and strike them rapidly, as well as deploy electronic warfare capabilities and advanced processing systems. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the armored vehicles and tanks you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.